market. So let's do it. Three ways to sell a market, Errol, all using derivatives here today because short stock, short ETF shares, kind of clunky. So I thought, let's take a look at not only a non-stock market, but some different derivatives to potentially get short a gold and silver market that's headed back to its highs. Have you traded gold and silver before or what? Uh, yes, I have. I think I put a short position on gold maybe the end of last week. Uh, we, had, we, we actually had Nick on and then we were finding some positions there. But um, that's pretty much it for, for me for gold. I think it was NEM. It was related to something like that. I can't really recall right now, but I believe it was NEM. And that's like a, that's a, that's a gold kind of mining stock or what was yeah, that? It was, yeah, keep, go ahead, keep going. I, I, I want to actually double check that real quick because I think I. No, saw yeah, and on. I only, I only, I only pry a little bit uh, just it's because. It, Newmont Corp. Gold, what's that? Newmont Corp. Uh, Nick oh, pitched yeah, this yeah. one to me. Yeah. Yeah, and um, and, and, and just because. It is nice and kind of comfortable to like, oh, there's a story in commodities. Um, let me go to you know something that's in the stock space that's kind of ten- tangentially tied to it. I know about stocks, options on stocks, 100 shares, kind of simple for me here. But futures and options on those futures, which we're talking about here today with the small metals, let you go directly to gold and silver. Like NAM, NEM, that's a company with you know CEO, operations department, sales, everything else that sure deals in metals, but it's not the metals themselves. You see here- So we're trading the real thing here now. This is, yeah, this is gold and silver in one product with the spree futures. And you can see the price action getting back close to the highs here, not at those pandemic highs. When gold was at you know uh, 2100 and silver was at its highs uh, correlated to those, uh, those gold prices up above 2000, this market was just above $80. You can see there, it's, it's, a, it's a mix of gold and silver there. So the prices don't uh, directly correlate to one or the other, but $80 was those highs. In the futures here, Errol, they let you sell both gold and silver Right here, 560 bucks in margin. You get a one for one risk reward to sell those futures, which is great for, like, especially a day like today where the market is really rallying uh, higher. And maybe I want to get short and get out of that position by the end of the day. I'm getting that one to one risk reward. Uh, just for maybe a short-term trade. But if I want something longer term, I can go to those options just like you would in NEM and I've got a lower margin and I've got a higher probability of profit and everything else, right? With calls. Oh, I like that. Quick question. Do you scale into your positions or are you just like that clean one for one or whatever it is? Let's say one so standard deviation what's... move, I sell one contract, we get another two standard deviation move, I'm going to sell one more, but I'm going to still manage my risk. So what's what's really nice about the small futures in here is they are much smaller than the traditional futures. Even the micro gold contract, you know, mm-hmm. these this market here is I think a quarter the size of that micro gold. And so it allows you to scale very easily whether you're day trading, you're trying to sell on a day trade or sell on, you know, a multi-day, multi-week trade. Um yeah, I definitely will scale into some of this stuff. Like and and that's a matter of me telling myself like okay, the margin on one of these short futures, Errol, is five, let's call it $600. Let's just round up. Right. I'm comfortable with any one position in my portfolio, take in a thousand to 2000 bucks. So let's just say I'm willing to get to three units here. Okay. Okay. And so, or sorry, uh, metals here, a b- decent rally over the last couple of weeks. I'll sell one here knowing that it could get, uh, like I'll sell the 76s, let's say, If it gets to 78, I'll sell another one. And if it gets to those highs of 80, those pandemic highs that we, you know, only saw for a couple of weeks there and we haven't seen for the last decade or so, gold above 2000 bucks. If we get there, Errol, then I've got my three units on. And then if it gets any higher, I have to at some point, you know, take that loss Mm -hmm. and, and my mechanics kick in there. But what's, yeah, really nice about this is you can absolutely scale in. And and what I've been doing, actually, I I didn't even think to talk about this, but I've been doing this in the the out-of-the-money call options where I've got some short calls from last week at like the 77, 78 strike price. And now that the market has rallied there, uh, I'm out, you know, since they're so small uh, per unit, I'm out maybe 20, 30 bucks. Well, now I'm, I'm also today with the big rise in metals, 
Uh, earlier today, I, I sold some 79, some some 80 calls as well and scaled in via the options. And I've got a greater probability of profit. The market just needs to stay below those strikes. And um, I, I have less margin to get short with those options. And what you can do the final way here is use the call spreads, right? Which is selling an option and buying an option against it, correct? Yeah, 100%. I mainly do defined risk whenever it comes to options. So, Yeah. And the defined risk does define that risk, which is really nice. So like if it goes through your strike, you can only lose that set amount from the start, but it also works your buying power down even more. So you can sell you know, a $1 wide call spread, get short metals, and only have to put up 50 bucks. And then you can scale in like we're talking about, sell a second, sell a third. I'm only tying up buying power of less than $200 to get three short positions on in the metals markets, uh, which is uh, some fantastic stuff and, and good to have in your holster as, as metals and everything else heats up, volatility picks up. You want as many tools to get long or short different markets and do it on a small basis so that you can scale in, scale out, but also you just don't get uncomfortable with the amount of size you got on.